Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to enable a plugin in your Jira instance. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, drop a like, and if you have any questions about anything that I talk about in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so the first thing you want to do is jump into your Jira, and you do need to be a site administrator to do this. The reason is, to enable a plugin, you're entering a binding contract with a company and there's typically a cost associated to this. So because of that, you don't want just anybody in your company to be able to enable plugins. Otherwise, you're going to have all kinds of shadow IT and just balloon payments and just hidden payments that are going to show up in your Elastin account because you're not going to be able to control it. So you do want to limit the ability and you want to make sure you don't have too many cooks in the kitchen. Otherwise, you do run the risk of having these very high surprise bills show up for your account. So let's jump back into this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings on the right hand side. Again, you want to be a site admin and you're going to want to come down to apps, add and manage Jira marketplace apps. So once you do that, these are all the plugins that are available for you to basically enable. There's a variety of different plugins for different purposes. Uh, if you click on free, this will show you all the free items. I can't tell you how many clients go and they are looking for the ultimate plugin and they're super excited, but then they realize that it's not free, that it's paid. Now, the good thing is with respect to the cloud, all of the plugins, majority of them, I don't think I've ever actually ran into one that isn't like this, but Almost every single plugin gives you at least a 30 day free trial. So that's really great if you just want to explore the plugin. Maybe you're trying to convince your team, you're trying to see if there's value before you actually process a purchase order or actually commit to buying it. Jira is going to give you the flexibility to be able to at least try these plugins out. So because this video is actually sponsored by Custom Charts and Old Street Solutions, I'm going to go and show you how to find custom charts for Jira. So we're going to type in custom charts here and we're going to lo look for this uh, for Jira. Oh, and because it's not free, it's not going to show up on the free. And here we are. So custom charts for Jira. I'm going to click on that and enabling a plugin is super, super simple. Um, every plugin is going to follow a similar thing where they're going to show you their company logo, the name of the product, give you some information. You're, you're going to have some information on the actual product. Some plugins will actually show you a pricing tab where you're going to be able to go in and actually check out the pricing. It's usually found here between overview and support. Uh, this specific plugin is a little bit different. It's not doing it exactly like that, but you can still find out how much it's going to cost you by coming over here to the right side. You're going to be able to click on this little, um, no, don't click, but hover over this little eye. You'll be able to come down to see details. And when you do that, it's going to take you to a place where it does show you the pricing section. You can see that up to 10 users, this is completely free. And this is another thing I do want to point out is many of these plugins, not all of them, but many plugins for up to 10 users, they're going to be free. So if you have a really small startup or a small company, or you're just in a very, very beginning state of starting your company, these plugins are going to be great for you because they're going to allow you and your team to maybe get, get some traction, get some productivity going without having to go bankrupt because you're cash strapped, right? You don't have enough money. So you can see that once I go to 11 users, we're starting to uh, start paying for about $2 a user here. So it goes up to $22. So because I only have one user, I'm going to be free, but it, you can see that it's free for up to 10 users. You can also check out some reviews here and you can see how many, what people have thought about it. There's some support that'll show you how to get a hold of the company, the documentation, which we are going to be exploring in great detail. I'm going to be creating a ton of videos here showing you how to use custom charts, how I use it for my personal use and give you some tips and tricks. So installation couldn't be any easier. Uh, they're basically, they're walking you through the steps that I'm walking you through here. And so at any point here, um, I'm just going to go back to the old screen that I was on. When you're in this original screen from navigating to the apps, all you're going to do is click on try for free. And again, you want to make sure that you are the, the site admin to be able to do this and you just click on start free trial and that's it. Uh, it'll take a couple of seconds. I don't think it's ever taken more than like a minute, but once this plugins enabled some plugins, not all of them, but some plugins will give you additional configurations that you can do a different additional settings that you got to go and configure. 
I don't think that's going to be the case here with custom charts. Okay, so you can see that custom charts for Jira has been successfully added. We're going to go to configure just to make sure there's no configuration. You can see that on my left hand side here, a new settings has been created and it looks like it's just a customization. In here, I'll be able to change my number format and a couple of other things. So I'm going to reserve these configuration changes for a future video. For now, I just wanted to show you how to actually enable this plugin. So again, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, drop a like, and if you have any comments about or questions about what I just talked about, please make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.